What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. And about a month ago, I put you guys onto a route that was an automatic rocket against man coverage and could be used to beat zone coverage in the form of the fade smash concept. Today, we're gonna come right back at you with an under center concept that you guys can utilize. And this is going to be the stutter go route. Now I've used this route out of formations such as the strong close and also in other playbooks out of the I form close this year. But today's tip comes to you out of the Kansas City Chiefs offense where you guys can run this concept. Concept. What I like about the I form close in the Kansas City Chiefs offense is that we do have a pretty decent run game with some great stock routes and those can hold our opponent's attention, which is going to isolate some outside one on one throws, especially in the man coverage meta. So this play stutter goes is going to be great because both receivers are going to get separation on the chop steps, which is going to allow them to disengage from two man interactions when you throw them bullet passes to the outside and the result is what we call an auto rocket now if you guys want to open up your offense in the biggest way possible rocket catching is one of the best tactics in the game because it renders man blitzing almost useless not to mention you can also rocket catch against zone if you know how to set up your route combos right and you guys can take a look at my rocket catching and free forming tutorial and my kansas city chiefs offensive game plan in general over on my strategy website gridirongameplans.gg i talk about it in every video but gridiron game plans will keep you on top of the competitive meta what it is and how to counter it you guys unlock everything on the website that six offensive and defensive game plans and all the vault updates that go into the game also keeping on top of patch notes as patches come out which there might be one today you guys can unlock everything for 9.95 let's go ahead and get into today's video we're going to be talking about the stutter go route now with this particular route what i love about it as i mentioned is that we get these little whatever you call it, a chop step it's a stutter go right so with this particular concept if you ever know that you have man coverage down the sideline with no safety help over the top this is a cover one style defense as evidenced by the center field safety i will run something as mundane as this route combo because i know i can snap the ball let my receiver run the chop on his step and just throw a bullet pass and hold Y. And they will automatically turn around on a dime with no click on necessary and get a snappy rocket catch animation. So as you can see right here with this coverage, we got to cover one on the outside. This is one on one. You're gonna see Fennerin chops his feet and this creates decent separation. At this point, I can go ahead and throw a regular bullet pass and just press the Y button or triangle on PlayStation and he'll turn on a dime and make this catch. This is very, very easy to steal yardage against man to man. And this is especially useful because a lot of times when you get into these milk the game out situations, your opponent gets aggressive and they'll call those cover one or those cover zero blitzes for the purpose of stopping the run and leave those one on ones on the outside. So this formation kind of baits your opponent into that approach. But the nice thing is, even if they were to maybe use one side, you have two of these routes on this play. And you'll be able to throw this to the other side of the field with a down and outside bullet pass lead, pressing Y, and your player will turn around on a dime and catch it. Now, right there, that was a little bit scary, but in general, the stutter animation typically allows the receiver to stay underneath of the man coverage. If you notice for whatever reason, the man coverage is biting on the stutter go, throw it over the top. But again, typically speaking, the stutter will create separation underneath, which will allow us to get those snappier rocket catch animations if the player doesn't bite on the stutter. It kind of goes without saying, if the player breezes on that little double move, throw the ball over the top. You don't necessarily have to throw this is a rocket catch but this is a great little route combo because it also can beat zone coverage let's say we're facing like a cover three style defense here and maybe my opponent is playing you know the one-on-one -on -one down the sideline with that third what we can do is actually run off the coverage with a streak and this streak has the ability to get out in front of that stutter route that's going to attack the sideline and that's going to give you space to deliver the stutter route as it breaks down on the sideline with a down and outside pass lead you guys could even conservative catch this and toe tap it if you need to. There's going to be enough separation that you don't need to come back and rocket catch it. And again, this stutter fade route is something that you guys can find not only in the I form close, but also in formations such as strong close. So no matter what playbook you're in, take a look to see what type of two back compression you have in your playbook. And I'm sure you will find something resembling this route if you have either of those formations. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the uploads here on the Zam Madden YouTube channel. I appreciate all your support. We'll see you guys this afternoon with our next YouTube short or tomorrow with our next long form update. Until then, this is Zan.
Get the lab in. Good luck.